Bridget O'Hare of NCTV. We're at the Storefront Art Art Happening. The exhibit is Storefront Art. Art is happening. I'm uh, the director of Storefront Art, which is uh, the residency program that this art happening is part of. It's a residency and exhibition opportunity in Northampton that utilizes empty storefronts. So we're looking for um, landowners in Northampton to um, donate available space between lease terms. We noticed that there are a lot of vacant spaces in Northampton and there are also a lot of artists without spaces to make work. And so we want to pair those two things together. Is it in the process right now? Or are things in the, in the making of happening? Yeah, well, this is obviously a marker of there being a lot of energy in the project. And part of um, Storefront Art is creating these art happenings in conjunction with Northampton Arts Night Out. And then in terms of the exhibition and um, artist discussion and residency component of the program, we're currently talking to a number of building owners and sort of finalizing agreements and getting people on board. It's a little bit hard to get the word out and get people to sort of trust that this is a good idea. Like, you know, their, their buildings are laying empty and um, we can offer them a tax deductible donation if they donate their space to us while it lies vacant. So it's positive for them and it's also positive for the art community. Hi, we're here with David Simpson, creator of C3. How are you today? Fine, thank you. How are you? Good. So what does C3 mean? Commonwealth Center for Change. C3 is an idea to create a community center that will be the, the home for social change nonprofits and artists so they can share space, pool their resources, and collaborate more easily so they can do their work more effectively. Because in this day and age of high rents, and uh, in a hard economy, we need to look at every way possible to help these organizations that do so much important work in our community do their work as well as possible. There are so many local artists in this area and, they, and they're, they're being squeezed out by the price of real estate. You know, real, artists were so important in making Northampton what it was 30 years ago, and now they've been so successful that everyone's come and live here Real estate prices go up. I mean, you know, you pay rent and how expensive it is. So to be able to create a to be able to create a um, a program that can use available space to provide affordable studio space, it's like people. It's got artists like yes, sign me up. You know, where do I? You know, so it's it, there's a lot of need for it. Hi, I'm Bridget. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. I'm Derek. So tell me a little bit about your art. Um, well, these pictures here have, are of farm animals that are at farm animal sanctuaries. I've been photographing animals at sanctuaries for about six years, six or seven years now. The animals were all rescued from abusive conditions in the animal agriculture, you know, factory farms and slaughterhouses and things. Do you usually have heated conversations with meat eaters? Heated? Um, not too much. I find that, um, you know, if you start attacking somebody, they're going to get defensive and not listen to what you have to say. I'm very happy with my lifestyle, and that really rubs off on people around me, I find. All right, well, thank you. I like your stuff. Thank you. Art is happening all around us. Right now, we are here with Martha Fleming Ives with her four photographs. Tell me a little bit about them. Um, they're four pieces out of a larger body of work that was made of my family over the past two years. So there are intimate portraits of um, different family members and friends uh, made in interior landscapes. Hi, we're here with Megan Labonte. Nice to meet you, Megan. Nice to meet you. So tell me a little bit about your artwork. Um, these are paintings that I just recently did. I usually do collage and sculpture and I really like to paint, but um, 
I'm just starting to explore it, so I call them sculptural paintings. They're like my interpretation of sculpture through painting. And what's your influence throughout these pieces? Frida, Frida Kahlo is a big one. I have this one is called Frida's Room. Um, Frida Kahlo, this is the goddess Kali. She's definitely an influence. And also Nanny Vonnegut, locally, she's an artist who does this kind of three-dimensional pop-up work. She's been an influence. And just life in general, this one is based on my dad's property out in Goshen. And they're just things in my life that I've integrated into my art. Great. Is this your first show? No, no. I've shown um, locally in a lot of storefront windows and galleries. Hi, I'm here with Vanessa Anspa, choreographer and dance performer. What is the name of your group? Um, this is part of the Still Collective, um, which is a collaborative group. And what's your relation with the APE gallery show today? Did they ask you to perform or yeah. did you say we could? Yeah, um, David, uh, David Simpson, the head of the C3 um, project, he approached me and asked me and several artists to be a part of this kickoff event for the community and the APE gallery you know was this in another space and um, they lost that space and so we're I think we're bringing awareness to that space and also this wonderful new nonprofit that um, is trying to get artists into storefronts and utilize the empty space and keep the artists in the town so they can keep making their work and not have to run off to um, cheaper other communities where there's more viable space. Hi, we're here with Oceana Shawanda. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you as well. Tell me a little bit about your stuff. Um, I was working with this tattoo artist, Jeremy McIntosh, who owns Pygmalions in Greenfield. Um, and he created these masks that you see hanging on the wall. And I love taking pictures of people as well as nature and thought it would be really great to get him dressed up in costumes and go out in the woods and just bring kind of fantasies to life. Is there any meaning behind the masks shown in your work? Um, the meaning behind the masks are for him to say. I liked putting him in costumes, but these are what he does. He does tattooing and masks as well as other kinds of drawings. And I just found it really enjoyable to put those two kind of things together. Hi, I'm Adam with NCTV and I'm here with the Video Vanguards. Video Vanguards is a youth media program and this is our uh, project right here. And what we do is we bring primarily youth of color and their allies together and talk about socially conscious subjects so we can create a video out of that. Topics ranging from race to the war in Iraq to hip hop and just, we try to make socially conscious videos and create positive change within our communities and on a broader spectrum.